Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to talk about Retin-A, 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 and the eyeshadow I've been using. It's going to be sort of a little mishmash of a little bit of everything. So if you're interested, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. First of all, I want to, I want to talk about the eyeshadow. I, as many of you, hopefully maybe you remember that last week I had started, I actually, a couple of weeks ago, I decided I was going to dig into my eyeshadow stash and I was going to use a palette for an entire week. And I'm um, sorry, my hair's in my eyes. Anyways, I was going to use the palette for an entire week and see how I liked it. So the one that I chose for this past week was the Naked 3. And I know this is a, a well-loved palette by many of you. So that has been my palette that I've used this week. And I have surprised myself with being able to create some really nice looks with this. Sort of subtle, you know, in a way, not like really in your face and all that. And I have used almost all of the colors, including the second one in, which is a little bit of a darker color, and I use that to really darken out the outer V. So on a scale of one to 10, I really like this palette. I've used it all week. I'm glad I've been forcing myself to dig into my palettes and use my palettes because there's many that I haven't used. So I use this up and I'm debating I'm debating which one to use next. Part of me was thinking of tackling this, but I would need to have a different color. Um, I would need to have a different all over the base. I think I could work with all of the darker shades. This is the Lancome. This is the palette that is the eyeshadow palette, blush palette, glam edition that came in my Christmas gift that I've never used. I'm not too sure that I can pull it off. I will need to have an all-over lighter base, so I'm not too sure if it's going to be this one. But I'll tell you, the Naked Three, I, I can, I totally realize why people really like it. It is, it's a beautiful palette, and I don't remember how long ago it was that I bought it, but I bought it quite a while ago, and I was, I went and I looked. I must have got it on a sale or something of that nature because I went and I looked at it, and I was shocked at how expensive it was. But I like the palette a lot. I do. So yeah. Um, so I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to play around with that, but I'll let you know which one I decide to, to use. Also, I've been on a quest to really use up some of my foundations. I've used up two bottles of my CYO, and I toss them because they're empty, and I've just been home and all that. So I've gone back to, and this one, this was sent to me by one of my subscribers, and you can only get this in the UK. This is the number seven Hydroluminous. I really like this a lot. I've used this... A ton and I'm hoping that they carry this in the US pretty soon because I I really like this a lot so yeah so I I ended up using the two CYOs they're very similar than the boots number seven products and they're very similar than the uh, soap and glory kick-ass but this still hands down is really awesome the other thing that many of you've asked me this week and mostly on Instagram as well. A lot of times I'll take pictures and I have my glasses on. Like these. Like them? <laughs> these are sure different. I really like them. They're kind of rounded with little cat eyes. And they've got like a little bit of a gold in there. But I also wear these a lot. These are sunglasses I got from Balzano. That is the, the handbag subscription service. These are Balzano sunglasses. I really like them a lot. And the ones I've been wearing a ton of times when I get comments is this one. So these two glasses and a third pair that I don't wear as much because I'm not, I'm not a fan of the frame. These two glasses, I really like these. These are Sojo's. And I know you can't really see them, but these were sent to me quite a while ago. And they came so super well packaged, really protected, really cool. They have a 
ton, a ton of glasses that you can look at. I'm digging these. I love these. I love these shades a lot. So they were sent to me complimentary for review, and I have continuously worn them. And I will tell you, I love them. They are sturdy. They have held up really well. And they've gone with me to many, many different places. And of course, the ones I got from Balzano. So those are the three that I've been wearing in most of my images that most of you ask about. The other thing I wanted to briefly mention is I got these headlamps from Vaunt. Do you guys know Vaunt? Anyways, I can't demo the brightness of them because they require batteries and I don't have the batteries. But anyways, I got four of them sent headlamps. These are super awesome, especially if you go out and you exercise, say, early in the morning or you camp. I'm hoping we get to go camping. I really am. So if you camp, right, these are fantastic. And they had sent quite a while ago this little lantern. I don't know if you can see it. It probably doesn't show as bright as it is. But this is awesome. This is awesome. So these, these are almost indestructible. Jay did a review for me on this because these were also sent from Vaunt complimentary and we've used these all winter one time we had a power failure we lit up the whole place with these lanterns they're so super bright you can carry them you can hang them on something if you want they turn you open them up you close them down super super cool yes they come by battery as well they had sent me like four of these and i love them they're not even all that expensive so when they reached out and said would you like to try the headlamps i was like all over it so I'm going to get some batteries and then I'm going to show you how these work. But these are like so cool if you're out walking or if like Jay said, he's in the bay of the motorhome, he puts this on his head, he can be able to see what he's doing without having to hold a flashlight. So these were sent to me complimentary for review from Vaunt. I'll let you know how I like them, but I'll tell you if they're anything like these lanterns, I am going to love them. The other thing I wanted to tell you while I was home like many of us. I haven't done any shopping. I didn't buy a darn thing at the Sephora sale. I didn't buy anything from Ulta. I didn't buy, well, I only bought one thing while I've been home and that was a wig and that was it. Other than that, since I've been homebound, I have not shopped, I've not gone online shopped, I've done no hauls. I don't watch haul videos because I don't want to be tempted. And, and really right now, even though I'm, I'm still, I'm employed, um, and you know, I'm very fortunate in that way, but right now is the time to really try to conserve a little bit. So I've been like super, super good. And so I figured, since I'm homebound, who's gonna see my skin up close, right? So I have like been ramping up my Retin-A use since I have been in isolation. The only one that can really see me is Jay. So I, um, I've i like whipped through half of this. I know it doesn't look it, but I've whipped through half of this. This is the 1% Tretinoin Cream. And I have a very little bit left of my two, um, my 0.25. And that's what I usually do down my neck. So I'm getting ready to, I'm gonna be placing an order from and and I do order this overseas and yes I've had some of you say do you still feel comfortable with the quality control because it is overseas it is in India and all of that as long as they're shipping I feel totally comfortable I will place my order that's my discretion that's my that's just how that's how I feel and also I have still been using this A313 I've talked about this in the past I know recently there's been some more videos on it um, and people are finding they really like it. I'm gonna stick to my initial thoughts on this. It's very, very heavy. It's, it's a thick, thick consistency. My skin is super dry. So a thick consistency actually feels good on my skin. Have I seen any, th any difference with this? No. I, here's how I've been using it because I've been ramping up my Retin-A. I've been using my Retin-A 1% probably five times a week and then one night this so I'm not using this consistently I don't think once a week is going to tell you anything but the point is that I am still using it because I'm going to finish it and then I won't order it I, it's not gonna be a thing I'm gonna order I am ordering it ordering my tretinoin 
and I'm going to be placing that order, I figure, in about a week, maybe two. I'm going to gather up a few of my friends that might want some as well because it could take a while. So even though I know I have plenty here, I want to have my backup. I want to have my backup. To me, this is my tried and true. So I have totally ramped this up, totally big time ramped this up. And what I've been doing to manage my flakes, that, that can be a whole other video, but I have been doing some exfoliation and I have been using my CBD oil on my face. And that is the Maku CBD oil. I love that stuff on my face face. So Jay and I argue over this stuff. We really, we really do. The, uh, the bottle that I'm currently using is uh, a 2,500 milligram of the Magoo CBD oil, broad, spe full spectrum. And I put a very little bit, I put a tiny drop of this on my hand. And sometimes I mix it with another oil. And then I put it over and I just kind of like really concentrate on my dry areas where my retin-A is the most dry is down around my mouth. It isn't on my forehead at all. I mean, I, I use my retin-A the most on my forehead and I don't very, very rarely do I see any kind of appeal um, or flake on my forehead. It's kind of really weird, but then a little bit around my eyes with the CBG oil. So that still is like fabulous for me fabulous so anyways how are you guys all doing you know new hampshire now is we're at a stay-at-home order until may 31st our governor yesterday on friday when i i'm filming this on saturday our governor yesterday had extended the stay at home and parts of the state is going to be opening up very very slowly in very limited capacity so i'm working from home and We'll continue to work from home for a while, but, you know, I'm climbing the walls. I, I'm going to be very, very honest with you guys. It isn't easy. It isn't easy, and I'm not complaining because I'd rather be safe at home than not. So I'm not complaining, but it isn't easy. And I think that's one of the things that I learned that was kind of shocking. I, I, in the beginning, when this all started, I said, oh, all right, I'll work from home. Well, all right, I'll work from home, you know only have to get halfway dressed because I do a lot of teaching on Zoom. They don't see your bottom. So I figure, okay, no big deal. I'll work from home. Well, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the novelty's worn off on that. I kind of miss driving into the office. I, I know I wouldn't miss it in the wintertime because I always hated driving in the snow. But I do kind of miss driving, driving into the office. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, my YouTube has been kind of like... I've got some empties. I haven't bought anything. But to me, my YouTube world is more than just what I buy or what is sent to me. And yes, t today I talked about some stuff that was sent to me. But my YouTube world is more than that. And I really haven't felt the desire to watch videos where people are showing hauls. Um, I just haven't felt the desire. So it's almost like my YouTube habits have changed too. Have your guys, have your habits changed? I know my views are down. And I know that um, I was watching, I think it was Sugar Puff and Fluff, and in one of her videos, she said the exact same thing. So I think overall, maybe in a larger channel, you don't notice it as much as in a smaller channel like mine. But overall, I think everyone's YouTube habits have changed. I know that when I go on YouTube, I bypass a lot of stuff that I might have watched before. And I go to something happy. And I don't want to, I don't want to see a lot of misery. You know, I don't. And I don't want to see hauls. I don't. I'd rather see a look, uh, a get ready with me, than a bunch of hauls. Yeah. Anyways, on my head, this is a very old wig that was sent to me. Gosh, I just took her out of the box, too, because I, wanted to, I filmed a comparison video. So she still has box hair. And that's why I've got, like, the flyaways here. But this is actually Lisa, no, this is Liz. This is Uniwigs Liz. And th this is Almond Frost. And what I really like about this, this particular cut is I'm gonna turn around and show you the back for those of you that are interested. See how the dark, wispy bottom? <laughs> I think that's so cool. So this is kind of a wedgy look, but this wig has gotta be three years old. So right now you get a lot of the longer wedges that are in style, but I think this is so trendy. You can kind of push this behind your ears. And once I 
you know, really train this little piece out cream. I think the front will be super, super cute. So, anyways, guys, this is a whole lot of video about not much of anything, but thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you guys are all staying, staying safe. And I will, I'll see you next week.